Snow is melting. What is it? Three degrees. Jeez. November the twentieth. Just come check on my stove. I'm gonna build a box on this here in a bit. I put plywood down in there and it's fur plywood 3.8 and I went to bend it up there and I cracked it so I had to cut it off there but I'm gonna put something over that just cut my plywood so it's 24 inches deep and inside there it's like 32 and a half inside and I'm gonna try to rig this one so this back can come out because if I want to set wolf traps on my trail I want to be able to get my sleigh and set traps out back there be good to get the side out of it too because sometimes I set them on another trail right so I might have to uh, do something there but if I can get him out the back, that's better than nothing. This is just a sleigh with a square box. That's all it's going to be. When it gets painted, it'll be all right. But here, I'm going to put a compartment here, too. Something like this. and Probably put stuff in there. Oh, I'll, I'll make... Kind of like a triangle box that fits down in there or something, maybe. We'll figure something out. Because if I don't, it's going to feel really full of snow. Okay, going in for the night, work in the morning. It'll look a lot better once it gets painted. And I got to do all the brace, the one by two by twos or whatever I put inside there to, to frame it out. Yeah! 11.30. What's today? Thursday. November 21st. Yep. It was 8 degrees today. Crazy. I remember I went home one time about to... About this time, 15 of November, and it was like 35 below here. That was the first when I came here. The first year, I think it was, or the second year. So about 16, 17 years ago. Been here 18, be 19 in April. So, so I just finished putting the frame in the box out and screwing and gluing that in. Try to make it as lightweight as I could. You know, if I wanted it a bit tough, it might be, a, you know, all firewood sometimes. So. Gonna make a cover now. I got a quarter inch plywood there. I might just frame that out. And if I haven't figured out how I want to make it, I don't want to make a one piece cover. Because, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try to find. I was thinking about something sliding, but I know how that's going to be. Ice and snow want to be froze up. and But it hasn't got to be snug, I guess. Bought some trim clad black spray paint. I'm going to spray paint it. Black was the only thing I could come up with. Brown, red, blue, yellow, green. I was thinking maybe if I could find maroon or something, because I kind of like maroon color. It's not flashy, but I think black is what it's going to be. It's going to be black, because the box on my slid is black. I need to spray paint that over again, too. Once I get this done here now and my traps figured out here and stuff, and have it ready anyway. And uh, then I get my sled in here. I gotta 
pick some stuff on it and do oil change. Whew! I get stoned in there. I got the doors and the window open. Soaks in a certain part of the grainy. Eh? That's all right. It's only a a sleigh. Cover and a hitch next. Still got a little while yet. Like I said, I got. I'm gonna put something in here. I don't know if it's going to stick to that puck board or not. See, so it'll look like a scab later on in the winter. Okay, going in for the night. It's about quarter to twelve. Work in the morning. A little bit of snow this morning. It's only minus one though. November 25th, I think. Uh, or 24th I just uh, picked up this deer fawn so I got hung in the tree here now so the stuff don't drag it away at least they'll pick at it for a while try to get some critters in the area see what turns up I'll put my trail camera on her probably and see what happens He's busted up pretty good, so uh, a pretty good smell coming out of in there now. So it's in the bit of woods there, so I don't know if wolves come by, they'll come in around here, but it's better to have it out in the open so the birds can get at it, but I'm just trying to tow everything in here, so. And I'll sit accordingly. So we'll see. See you back here again. I'm sh I'm sure. Come on, dog. He's uh he's wanting to get at it, but he yeah. Uh, I've been driving out of it. Okay. I'll see you. See you soon. I don't usually put them on anything, but it's snowing outside, so I don't want to hang them back outside. So, I'm just laying them on the plywood. Hopefully that'll be okay. I've done it before and never made any difference. I to get them out of this pot. Get the way, dog. Ten times, I told you. Always ten times. It's always a pain getting them out of here because I stacked them on top of each other because I only had so, so much plywood. I'll just put them in there until they warm up. When they're cold, the wax sticks right to them, but they're, I brought them in so they're room temperature right now. How come you can't go over there and stay over there? You're going to have wax on your feet. <laughs> There's the black bitch. My shop needs a clean up now, but I'm not cleaning it up until I get done what I'm doing. I'm going to make my itch next. This is when I get these wax or traps wax. I'm going to bring in some round stock for tomorrow. I'll start at my itch. Brought in some steel to do my itch. That'll be start that tomorrow, hopefully. There's all my traps. I get questions lots of times on my drags. I got, uh, 
I got a couple offset some, but most of them are not. And it just makes them a little easier to bury because I bury them underneath my trap. I just don't throw them out to the side. Some people throw them out to the side, but they can do whatever you want. Um, so it takes a little bit less snow to cover them up. So half the wolves I caught last year didn't even have any, uh, the drags weren't even holding on to anything. Some were still in the hole I buried them in. As they go around a tree and most of the times they get hung up in that tree, if they twist up a couple times and that's where they get held by. So, but they're there long enough. Smaller tree, they might chew that off and get hung around another one, so. But uh, I still got, well, I got one here. This is the one that I had bent last year that was bent right out like this. I bent it back and I set it again last year and I think I caught another one off of it. And there's another one that's bent a little bit. Sometimes you get on a bigger tree, eh, that this uh, part there is just the only thing hitting the tree. And then wolves, they pull a lot of force. And sometimes they chew on it. This one there that bent this one, he bent it by chewing on it. And you can call me a liar if you want, but that's what it was. It was right full of mucus and and stuff. I've seen them break moose femurs in half, so that's stronger teeth than I got. They look nice and black, but I haven't dyed these traps, and this one here is kind of light. I haven't dyed them in three or four years. That one there is kind of light. It's just a really thin coat of wax on them. Sometimes you get them on the pan and you got to scrape it off where your dog sits. So. Okay, my shop's a little messy, but I don't clean up until I'm done projects and sometimes that don't happen. I always got a project on the go. So I'm just mauling over what I need for cover. I was just texting Norm, True North living there and we were bullshitting a little bit. I sent him a video on doing my wolf traps there. So, gonna go in, work in the morning, two more days, and I'm off for six. Then I gotta try to get some sets out or something, go see what the wolves are doing. Maybe set some 330 boxes. I'm kind of holding out because uh, I don't want to catch any lynx yet, but I need a couple for bait, so maybe I'll put some out. You're gonna get to see another first. I'm over in my wood cutting spot. Just cutting some stumps down and stuff, getting my trail all nice. When we get more snow, I'm gonna cut a bit of firewood here. There's a lot of windfalls here and dead standing, but uh, I had two Martin boxes over here. And they came yesterday, there was a Back at my box but it looked like maybe a weasel but it took the bait first so then I repositioned the box and brought in this timber further and we got a catch I don't know what he's like oh, he looks like a big one first catch of the year eh. Might be a June, uh, oh yeah. He's not, he's almost frozen. It's a juvenile. It snowed last night, so. Maybe since the snow.
spruce and pine, aspen and the scattered birch. So yeah, right on. First catch of the year, November 26th. That's only because that's all I got out. I'm gonna try to set some these days off. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of here if I can. What do you think of that? Huh? Sniff, sniff, sniff. <laughs> Here's my catcher today. <laughs> Not only Robert Bedeen can catch rabbits. I shot that one with my 17. 50 yards, look it away. When he looked to the side, I send one out there. And that's a, a little female Martin. Out of two boxes. So it's been a good day. <laughs> Home from work. And then I uh, set that box back up and cut a tank of gas in my chainsaw, some firewood. So going after supper now and tonight I gotta I'll skin these out there and might be all I'll do. I was gonna cut my steel, but I might wait till tomorrow. I'm done shift tomorrow, so yeah, so let's go and see what the cook got for supper. 